When thinking of a steampunk outfit, one of the first things that come to mind are the goggles. Almost every steampunk has at least one pair or more, but they aren't a necessity. You can have a steampunk outfit without goggles. But if you do choose to wear goggles, then where do you start? What kind of goggles do you choose? How do you wear them? And how do they have to look? Well, maybe this can help. Most of the steampunk goggles start off with welding goggles. Simple welding goggles look very industrial and you can customize them, glue things on them, change them whole, just use parts of it and make them true to your character. You have the bigger ones with the more crazy professor or robust look. And you can all customize them according to your character. Then the pilot goggles. For the more adventurous look, the airship uh, pilots, the airship captains, and so on and so on. You can also make them yourself from scratch. Use leather, use brass, use everything that fits your view of the steampunk goggle. And something special you can do with the goggles is put your own character in them. Put things on your goggles that are typical to your character. If your character is a rider, then you can put a feather in it. If your character sews, then you can put needle and thread in it and a scissor. You can customize them as you want. But it always looks good when you can match your goggles to your complete outfit. Now how do you wear your goggles? Well simple. You can wear them on your eyes. Or on your head. Duh. And yes, on your hat, around your neck, or wherever you want, actually. Or not at all. Yes, like I said, it's not necessary for a steampunk to have goggles. But if you do want goggles, maybe this all helped.